Good morning. Welcome to day two of the landscape vlogography adventures weekend. We are not in the location we were planning to be. Uh, we got up this morning, six o'clock, packed up our bags and stuff. Uh, we headed up to Penny Pass or Pen yeah Penny Pass car park to go up the miners track. Um, we hung around till just after seven. Um, I put on the meeting time quarter to seven till seven leave. So we hung around till about five past seven minutes past seven. We changed our minds because it was a 10 pound each to park the cars. And we thought for two hours, it's probably not worth it. And the clouds and the mist behind us, is just so thick, you are not gonna get a sunrise. So we changed plans and we're now heading back up to where we were gonna go this afternoon, up to Clean Uh It's a lovely walk, easy walk and uh, these guys are going to love it up there. It feels like you're in the mountains without actually being up on the mountains. So that's the plan for this morning. As you can see, they're all behind me, following along. Sun's due up in about a half an hour, but we're not going to get any colour or anything, but we're going to go and find some waterfalls. Uh, it's where I took the photograph that uh, Kevin French picked out of my giveaway. So uh, let's see what we can make out today. I'm going to try and find something a bit different, um, try and home in a nice composition rather than just going to get the usual ones I normally do when I'm up there. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you when we get further up the walk. Over the peak, I'll watch you going. He's going, Steve's going up over the peak. Mm, don't think he is this morning. <laughs> um, we're just stopping here, just walking up the pathway. We haven't quite got to the lake, uh, Wall. it's literally just over this, this ridge, just here. But I just like the mood actually in the moment, um, rather than having the bits of blue sky. And there are some patches. I like this mood, I love the way the clouds drifting off the side of I think it's Penavan. Don't quote me on that, but let me know if it's not. Um, it's what. Not Penivan. It's Penny Summit, isn't it? No, I didn't think it was Penivan. I've just been put right. It's not Penivan, but it's Penny Summit. Um, Penny Owen. Penny Owen. Yeah, because I like this S. You can see this S curve there, and it's just leading up and leading up to the mountain. Um, so we're going to stop here, take a couple of images here. I just like the mood coming over the top of the mountain, uh, the atmosphere that we can probably get out of this image. So we're going to grab a shot here, put a couple of boulders in it and then we'll head up and I'll switch back on when we get back up there. And it's just starting to rain, so you've got spots of rain everywhere now. So catch you in a little while. Uh, it's a nice little image and I think you need to see it. Um, like I said before, i um, got this lovely little S curve leading through. I've taken two images, I've taken one horizontal and I've taken one vertical. I think the vertical one works better. Now I'm having to bracket this shot um, purely because the dynamic range. Um, it's quite dark, the summit is cloaked in a little bit of mist and it's leading off as the clouds are leading off on the top you can see the nice sharp ridges and the clouds have been left behind which is really nice and down which is quite dark in itself but the sky is quite bright and then down here in the foreground we've got the uh, nice beautiful S curve that's leading you through you can't get a nicer S. The image is starting by in the bottom left hand corner uh, with this rock and the boulder and it's leading you up through the image taking you up to the top left hand corner um, but the S is over over on the right so it leads you right the way through the image i'm on f8 i'm on the tripod i've got the extended right up to give me a little bit of height just to try and pick up a little bit of the water there um i can't really get much higher i could put yeah i probably could maybe a few inches but um it's all i need i'm on about f i'm on f8 sorry that's what i said and i'm on 24 mil i've got it quite wide watching the histogram um the histogram showing that the sky is okay so i'm good with that and, and I'm going to just check the histogram and wind it the other way and just bring the shadow detail up 
it's just clipping the highlights now and now I'm focused on the foreground and just bringing up the, the, the image from the bottom of the frame. So yeah, that's my first shot done. These guys are all running around. We decided to stop here because uh, there's a few things to shoot here. So we're going to go up that way and I'll show you a Leonid wall when we get up there. Thought I'd take another pit stop and uh, five minutes out. Um, yeah, just to explain really what it is we do. These group meetups, the guys are all up there now. They're absolutely mesmerized by this place. They've never seen it before. They've never been here before. And it's just blowing them all to pieces. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. So check us out on Facebook, Landscape Vlogography Adventures. I'll put links down in the uh, comments and descriptions below anyway. And I'll put a few of these guys' images up at the end of this video. I don't want to ramble on too much. Oh, the sky's looking beautiful down there. Let's just wind you back. Have a look at this. Come here. Let's come back down there. Look at that. There, looking beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep the cost low. Uh, no airs and graces. I'm not doing anything posh, anything fancy. There's no B&Bs and things like that unless we do find them. It's just keep the cost down, low accommodation, and uh, just having some fun and just enjoying it. So yeah, if you want to do it, want to, got any ideas or anything, any plans you think I could do, go places I can go to, let me know and uh, I'll check them out. But yeah, right, I'm going to carry on doing some photography because that cloud's looking nice and I've got a river in front of me and mountains and I'm stupid standing there talking to you, aren't I? Let's get this camera sorted out and uh, I'm going to go up that way and find the lads. Oh, and the wife, she's up there as well. You can probably see her. She's just, just on the top of the peak, just up there. So, I'm coming, I'm going that way. Right, she's shouting me up. See you in a bit. Big mad panic. A minute ago it was a bit mm, blur blur the light and all of a sudden it's just totally kicked off over there. Um, absolutely kicked off. Brilliant. The light's coming across, it's hitting the side of the mountain, it's hitting all the ridge line, it's lighting up all the clouds in the background and we're on the bridge. We went for a bit of a basic composition to be honest. Uh, I was going to try and find something a bit different, a bit unique, a bit unusual but with this kicking off I haven't got time to run around now. Um, I'm up on the bridge as you can see. We'll balance up on the bridge we've got a tripod right up on the edge we're looking down to this river the river there is leading you down through the image leading you over to the mountain and then back down through the ridge line um, beautiful image we're all snapping the same sort of shot um, you can't really not to be honest it's one of the best shots here at the moment um, there's even a little tiny bit of light right up on the top of the ridge now um, up on top on the mountain so i've been bracketing the shot slightly um, just taking a few different variants on uh, exposure i've got a neutral density i've got um 0.6 ND grad just to tone the sky just a little bit and I've put the polarizer on just to give that little bit of a glare in the sky um, it's just giving me a bit of color on them clouds so I'll take another shot again now we've got a nice reflection going through the water um, beautiful little image yeah really really nice quite pleased with that one so yeah all in all second image in the bag for this morning Guess where we are? We are in the middle, <laughs> as you can see, the middle of the Bleeding River. Um, the tide, it's not a tide, I know it's not a tide, but I'm just going to refer, every time you see my vlogs, it'll be the tide. I know it's not a tide, it's just water levels, um, but the tide's out. Um, so, I forced Steve over here as well. Simon. No, I didn't, Simon, Steve's over there. I'm gonna, he's going to be Steve <laughs> from now on, changing his name by Deepal. Um, Simon come over, he said, what's it like, what's it like? And I said, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So he came over here, oh, I lied. No, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, we've got the bridge behind us. Um, so we took a shot with the bridge and as we set up as well, we've got a little bit of light up on the top there, up on the crest, so it's quite nice. Um, and then Denise shouted around, she said, there's an actual slight dusting of uh, icing sugar on the top, a little bit of snow, just a slight glint of snow at the top there. Um, so the, the light was fantastic. So we flipped the camera around and I'm trying to, balance as you can see down here I've got a few rocks I can put my feet on um, I've got the camera now facing that direction uh, I can't step back can I yes I can oh my god oh, oh. <laughs> right as you can see now I've got the camera where I've lost my camera where's my camera gone oh it's behind me uh, camera's facing that way and that's what we're looking at uh, that ridge up there um, so we're just waiting for the light and as it is it's now cloaked in cloud um, I might take an image with a the cloud there anyway because I quite like the atmosphere of clouds but just now the light was shining on the top and we weren't quick enough to spin round because like I say we are we're balanced on some half slippy rocks 
uh, which is not for the faint-hearted and uh, I've been across this bit now three times so we're testing our fate a little bit um, all in all though it's good to be in a different position with the tide being out or the water levels low um, you couldn't normally get onto these rocks not without uh, Wellingtons and waders anyway so uh, yeah it's nice to be in a position that's a little bit different um, I'm also going to show Simon the classic image I took um, because I took one of Devil's Kitchen here with snow on the top which I've used for the thumbnail uh, for this outing um, and he's like oh look at that it's an amazing photograph so I'm going to show him roughly where I took it and uh, get something similar without the snow on it but yeah the clouds are changing and the atmosphere is changing all the time with it so uh, yeah all in all we're doing pretty well I've just taken a walk over this little bridge um, behind me and uh, I thought it might make quite a nice photo. Um, so I've got the camera set up down here and I'm looking underneath this little bridge. So I'm not, it's one of these shots I'm not sure about. I think I'm going to try and scramble down here. Um, I'm going to try and scramble down there and see if I can actually get a shot or on the side here and try and get a shot looking up this. There's a lovely little bit of water there and I just, I like this scene but I'm not sure I can find the composition to work on it, to work it with, you know, it's... There's something there, so I'm going to have a look and see what it is, what it is that I've seen. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure yet. Let me have a look. If I can find something and I can get back and get you, I'll, uh, I'll show you. If um, I find something I can't get back up here and get you, um, and take you with me, then I'll pop the image up and uh, let you have a look at it anyway. But, uh, hmm. let's have a look and see if I can make something of this. They've got the long lenses out, there's some goats, wild goats up there with big, big, great big horns. Yeah, let's see if I can make something of this. Not sure if you could hear me when I was down there shouting, um, but I had the composition set up as a horizontal and a vertical, uh, both f11, and uh, both giving me about 0.6 of a second, half a second ish. Um, and of course, I got my selfie as well, didn't I? I? Had to get my selfie on the rock, so all good. Right, just come back to the guys and the wife. Steve's made his way round and caught up with us coming the other direction. I'll switch off here, we're gonna have five minutes and then make our way around. We've uh, just come across these uh, stepping stones down here and um, noticed that you were saying this river's dry. Well, I've not seen a lot of water in this river, but if you look at this behind me now, you can see there where it's sweeping up from here. 
it sweeps up, sweeps up around there and sweeps up again. So we're going to use this as a composition looking back that way, uh, back to that mountain, which I will put names up because um, I really don't know what they're called. There's an app apparently, there's an app I can get which uh, tells me what the mountains are, which I'm going to get. Um, so we are, we're going to make our way up this. Like I said, it's, this is going to be a perfect leading line and I know I'm walking through my image, but I don't think it's make a lot of difference on this stonework. Um, just been having a bit of fun just now, playing with the camera, uh, a little bit of B-roll and stuff like that. See, look at the greens, look at the way these greens pop out. They'll be great, they will, if they're shiny on the other side. So I'm just gonna try and get myself in a position. Oh, slipped. Try and get myself in a position where I can see this S-curve. And in all fairness, I think it's gonna have to be a little bit of an elevation. So I'm gonna have to climb up a little bit and uh, get up on those rocks just there. So once I've got over on those rocks, I'll show you the S, but that's a lovely image looking back that way. Look at that there. Looking back all the way through the image to the mountain. So that's the composition I'm gonna get. The guys are up there, Denise is there. There's Simon up there. And Daniel's over there doing his vlogging. Um, so yeah, I've keep gate crashing his vlogs as well. He hasn't gate crashed any of mine yet. But yeah, I'm gonna get this, gonna climb up there, set up the image, and I'm out of breath. Set up this image and maybe probably possibly make this the last one here. And then we're gonna go and get some breakfast. And uh, I think Steve's gonna make a move. So yeah, and then we'll find something on for later on. Switch it back on and show you where we are. Uh, I might switch it back on in a minute, we'll see. I know what I'm like. I'm not, I like these long vlogs, don't I? Yes, I do. No, yeah, but uh, all good. Fully enjoying myself. All right, wife. <laughs> Look at her bless up there. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. come from down the bottom there we started off down there and we just walked up this uh, nice empty riverbed got the tripod set up nice and high as you can see it's right above me head um, the composition is that what you can see in front of me and uh, anyone that says that doesn't look good has got to be mad uh, you've got a lovely leading you come you can go really really wide I've got the rocks in the foreground there leading you in taking you all the way down through the like the dried up riverbed taking you into the lake behind and you've got the S of the lake as well and then you've got the big mountain in the background with all this nice moody cloud above it so this is an apt to me an absolutely fantastic shot this is one of those shots that I actually believe will work very very well in monochrome um, because you've got the light parts and the dark parts and I think it will work really well when monochrome so I'm going to do a monochrome conversion as well as I am um, uh, color conversion now i'm not into just standard change it to black and white and be done with it it's got to, it's got to work it's got to have contrast and it's got to have some really light and dark parts to the image um, we've changed the camera around two orientations we've done a horizontal shot we've done a vertical shot uh, for two reasons one the horizontal works really really nicely taking the whole scene in and for two the vertical shot works bob on for this image because it leads you all the way through the photograph um, i'm on f11 so it's giving me a real good depth of field and we're shooting at a between well i'm bracketing so it's set up for an average shot at about fourth of a second nearly half a second but it is bracketing so the, sh the shot of speed is re totally relevant there's no wind it's nice and calm the tripod's solid two second timer so it doesn't matter how long the shot of speed is um, what might work nicely here is if i get down a bit lower set the camera up there's some light coming on the hills in the background oh my god let's take that the hillside in the background is just lit up so I've just taken another image um, and I'm going to have to put you down. Back in a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've just thrown you on the ground. I don't know whether I got that or not, but there was a small shard of light, a little pocket of light just come across the mountain. Um, there is actually some light on the mountain. As you can see, I flipped the camera back round. Uh, I didn't have time to take the two. Um, I don't know until I get home now. I can have a look on the back of the camera, but to be honest, I'll wait until I get home and see if it's, I have a surprise if I've got it. But that was brilliant. That was one of those moments like, oh my God, I just had to throw you on the floor and take the image. Um, Steve's, not Steve, Simon, I keep calling him Steve. He's going to bang me to the end of the day. Boosh. 
<laughs> Simon is waiting for me to move and I'm being a real ignorant git because I'm talking to you. Um, but I am, I'm going to come down off this hill now and give him a chance to shoot from here. Um, because I actually want this lower image. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to move down. But yeah, that was really good. That was really, really good. So let's let, let's let him have a go. Let's come down here. Oh, I found some of these nice wispy grasses. I'm having one of them in a minute. Don't tread on those grasses. Don't tread on them grasses. Go on, go and get your photo. Let me get out of your way. Cheers, Robin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Robin? No, Paul. Robin? My name's not Robin. <laughs> Look at this poor bugger up here. He's going to be waiting nearly three quarters of an hour for us to move. <laughs> and look at Mrs. C. Look, sitting there, chilling out, doing the old socials, texting her daughter and that. Look. She's playing Candy Crush. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We've come down off the rock, um, set up a little bit lower now, I've let Simon have his photograph. Uh, Dan's packed his away a little bit behind me there, they're all having to sit down in the chops. Um, I thought I'd just take one more image. Um, I like the view from the side leading down. I had a look that side and I couldn't quite get it to work. I'm not 100% sure this works because there's one little part of the image I'm not keen on, but I like the rest of it, so I'm going with it anyway. I've got the mountain up in the top corner. Um, up in, right up in the top thirds, that is predominantly the end of the image. I've got the lake leading through again. Right down here in the foreground, I'm right out at 16 mil, and on the full frame, that's pretty wide. Right down here in the foreground, I've got these lovely little red grasses that we had at Riverled. Um, they're not shining red, we've got no light on the subject whatsoever. Um, but because of the different shades of contrast, you've got this little red, you've got a bit of heather, you've got this lovely, beautiful bit of green right on the end of the rock there. Uh, which is just picking, you know, you can pick that out in post-processing. Takes you down through the dry river, down through the lake, down to the mountain, all the way down through the image. Um, it's really, really nice. Um, we're at half a second F11, uh, bracket in again, and I'm going to focus stack this one. Um, I'm actually going to focus stack it in three positions. I'm focusing firstly on the foreground to get these grasses nice and bright. I'm going to focus on the end of this piece of rock to get them rock really, really sharp and then I'm going to focus that down there in the lake, which is pretty much infinity. So you've got three different points of focusing. Bracket in for the exposure as well to make sure you've got all your dark shadow details, all your light details and everything in. Um, one over, one under. And that means I've got nine images I've then got to blend together. So I'll blend the three brackets in, uh, get the image real nice you know, texture and colour. Then I'll blend the three focus stacked ones in, um, in Photoshop. So you should be focus shump through the baby, front you his you. Focused front to back sharpness and uh, a good you know, dynamic, dynamic range as well. So yeah, that one should be quite a nice little image. Uh, a little bit different. I've never really seen one taken like that before from this area. So yeah, hopefully that's my one that's a bit different for the day. Um, yeah, good, good, good. You know, I said that, that was my shot down there. I just switched the camera on. They've gone up there to do something we don't talk about. And he's run back down here to get his camera. Paul, 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 come and look at this. Paul, come and look at this. I said, no, 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 I'm done. I'm finished. I've got my shot. Put my camera away. No, seriously, come and look at this. On that rock behind you, there's a pool of water with a perfect leading that sends you right through the image. So I've now got to get my camera back out and I'm going up there to get a shot. So here it is. Enjoy it. We're just making our way back to the car now. The guys behind me, Denise, uh, Daniel and Simon. We're just gonna try and find Steve. Steve went clockwise around the lake. We went anti-clockwise. We met up in the middle, somewhere over there. Uh, took a few pictures, had a bit of a chat and he said he was gonna make his way over to the bridge. Um, he had to disappear about 12 o'clock, so I'm hoping he's still here. So at least we can walk back down to the cars together. We're gonna yeah. mix his Facebook, mix up his Facebook group with mine. Steve runs the um, 
wild camptography Facebook group so check that one out and I'll put a link down as well well worth a look if you're into doing a bit of camping and that uh, but yeah we're gonna mix it up because come the summertime we can do this uh, vlogtography adventures and do it with camping so you know we can work together and he asked me last night if I wanted to do admin for him so I'll try or at least Denise can do a bit of admin for him because you know as it is I'm busy enough as it is um, but yeah it'd be good to do things together I think but yeah it's been a good good weekend we're leaving Clean Edwall now which is this lake um, and we're heading back down the path we're going to go down and get something to eat uh, sit down in the cafe for five minutes and work out what it is we're going to do this afternoon I think because Simon's got a four and a half hour drive home or well yeah four and a half yeah, 440 yeah, like four and a half, yeah. um, I think what we'll do is I'm going to take him back through the country no, so we're going to head back through Wales and just get closer to home as we <laughs> right I'm back there you go dead battery time that was I don't even know where I got up to before I looked at the camera and realised it was a dead battery. But anyway, what I'm saying was, we're heading back down to the car. Uh, we might get a coffee at the bottom. Steve's not at the bridge, so he's obviously made his way. Um, I, we knew he had to get going for about 12 o'clock. So I'll see you probably at the next location before I trip over one of these rocks. And I'll see you a little bit later on. He's missed us. We've just got down to the bridge right at the bottom. And we've just found Steve, so he hasn't gone home at all. We got a message a little while ago saying he was going home, but he's, but he's, <laughs> but he's not gone home at all. He's been down here at the bloody waterfall, cheeky bugger. But I'm sure he's going to be done making a move in a minute. All right, so yeah, we were right at the back. Here he is. Look, we found him. We found him. <laughs> he's just thrown his glasses away as well. <laughs> he said, yeah, earlier on, he said, he said he loves me hat. Yeah, he loves this hat. He said, no matter where you are in the mountains, he said, you can see me, which is pretty cool, isn't it? So there you go for a safety feature, buy a hat like this. <laughs> now, you're not gonna believe me, even if I tell you, but if I was to show you the rock I'm stood on, you're gonna think I'm absolutely tapped. And sometimes I am when it comes to taking a photo. Um, and you probably noticed that um, I'm, my head's in a position that you probably wouldn't normally recognise. And that's because I'm stood on this sodding great big boulder. And you can see Simon behind me. We're actually, <laughs> I shouldn't really be stood on it. And I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get back down. But I thought I'd just vlog this moment just uh, in case I don't make it down. Right, I've done a few panoramic shots taking a panoramic here. I started off with 24mm, I've gone down to the 16mm now. Um, I've shot with the whole bridge in it. I've never seen an image quite at this angle and I've definitely never taken an image quite at this angle. I've managed to get this lovely tree in it, the silver birch. I've got the mountains up there in the background with all the atmosphere in it. I've got the lovely river running through. I've got this beautiful wooden old bridge and the river down here in the foreground. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about what's going on apart from the fact I've been on F11. I've got a 0.6 neutral density grad in. Um, in there and I've also got the polarizer on the front as you can see I've got the grad in and I've got the polarizer on there um, that's all I can do I can't really move around much on here because if you look at my feet there's not a lot there's not a lot between me and uh, falling off so uh, yeah that's pretty much the camera that's pretty much the settings and uh, that's pretty much what we've done so I'm gonna try and work away work away of getting down and I'll uh, and uh, I'll speak to you soon Just heading back to the car. Um, if you can see them, they're walking behind me. We just pulled up. Uh, we're heading back through the country, trying to bring Simon closer to home rather than going out a long way round. Um, we were heading for Bala. I didn't quite make it to Bala Lake. I've come to Kellen, Kellen Reservoir. Um, the reason this reservoir is called Kellen Reservoir is the name of the village that's at the bottom of the water. So, uh, yeah, Kellen Reservoir. The tide, if you call it a tide, but the water level is low, very low. Um, I wasn't gonna take my camera because I didn't think I'd get a photograph. But halfway across there, I looked out and I just liked that blue sheen. 
and the, the, the diamond it's made, the triangle it's making, uh, it's a beautiful sheen, so I'm going to grab my camera bag out and uh, go and catch up with them. Well, that was a mad five minutes. We uh, spotted the light. I walked up to the lads and the wife, and uh, Simon saying, look at this, look at this. I turned around behind me, and the light was just kissing the top of the hillside, or the, the side of the hillside. Really nice, nice, soft, warm glow. So I quickly spun around and looked at it, and I thought to myself, no, 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 you're in the wrong way, you're in the wrong place. So I grabbed hold of him and follow me, and I've run all the way, run all the way back down the other end of the reservoir where I started, just to get that ridge line in. You now I think, I think I've got a really nice photo. Uh, nice color in the sky. We almost missed the glow on the side, but I just think the finished article with, I've got this lovely triangle um, with the nice soft water. So I've got a lovely triangle of water. The coastline was then much sharper and jagged and the nice colors in the background. So hopefully, hopefully that comes out all right. It was a bit of a spur of the moment thing, so I didn't get to vlog it. Um, we're going to call it quits now. I know I said goodbye down there, but I thought I'd just quickly say thanks to these guys for coming along. Um, without them, obviously, vlogography doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, it's been a good weekend. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Excellent. Any thoughts on the weekend? Just I, mean, I know when's you've enjoyed it. I know you've seen everything you've never seen before. When's so the next one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when's the next one? Yeah, yeah, there's going to be another one. So hopefully we can get a few more people come along. Steve shot off a bit earlier. We had David Griffiths with us yesterday. The wife's in the car there. She's a bit cold standing around. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's been a good weekend, so till next time, ciao. Bye. Bye for now.